Forgive me, lady. How are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Come on! Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings uh, wisdom. Sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin, the last real outlaw country, where the old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful knowledge you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. 
I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Thanks. Marshal Jobs, always a useless peacekeeper. Hello. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can be. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. 
Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson, to settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, oh, said too much, Bonnie. 
I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Farmers such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Yeah! Oh. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Good. Yeah. 